Okay, so so far we've been through an amazing journey lah this week itself. Um, been through many ups and downs with goals semua semalam and you know Monday to Monday to Tuesday beautiful trades uh, goal pun bit of an issue on goal but nonetheless apa amazing week. Um, keep your head up, chin up, kena sentiasa positive, okay? In time like this, ni kita extend another two weeks, so maybe it's time to really take this seriously lah. Uh, like this time, then my mind, like, take it very, very, very seriously. So, so uh, you've been given the peluang, so use it wisely. Use it for the, untuk benefit diri sendiri. Uh, focus on yourself. Jangan nak focus dekat isu luar or, you know, any other things that are going on, abaikan benda itu. If it doesn't bring any positivity in your life, then kita push it aside. Okay, so nonetheless, kita admit je, I'm sorry. Okay. So nonetheless, welcome again. Welcome, welcome everyone. So, topic of 1289. Very, very, very interesting topic. Dia tak panjang. It's not, it's not long. It's some macam, Level 500. Um, so, yeah, let me ask you guys. Eh, that level 500 semalam, you guys understand kan? Faham ke? The concept of level 500. You guys faham ke tak faham? Okay, just a little bit of re, uh, recap. Uh, not on the chart. Just saya cakap je. Level 500 ni, we use on time frame daily, weekly and above. Eh, sebab we nak understand big structural movement only. Level 500 is indikasi untuk pergerakan besar sahaja. Sama ada naik atau atas bergantung kepada TS level on level 500. Kalau ada TSL dekat 500 daily time frame, kita kena tunggu confirmation. Okay, we wait for confirmation yang which ada. Uh, kalau TSL, lower low, sideway, pullback level 500. Okay, dipersilakan. Okay, full margin. Uh, so, we flip an account. Yang tu je lah. Simple as that. So, level 1 to 8, 9 ni, it's not for big movement. Uh, itulah perbezaannya. Okay. Level 500 is for daily and above and level 1 to 8, 9 is uh, 1, 2, 8, 9 ni basically for time frame, 4 hour dan ke bawah. Okay. 4 time frame, 4 hour dan ke bawah. So, now let's get into work. Okay. Kita bagi just an example right here. Let's give an example. Ni pair apa ni? Euro USD untuk minggu ni naik. Hmm, okay, whatever, whatever. So, very, very, very simple. We want to scale down to, let's say, one hour. One hour, okay. Let's say kita ada indication of TS. Ah uh, man, yeah, nak pergi example yang bagus. Example, example, example. Example eh. Maybe 15 minutes. So guys, sorry eh. Saya ni jenis memang tak prepare apa-apa. So this is how I roll lah. Let's fail. Sekejap biar saya tandakan dulu. 100. So, 1289 ni sebenarnya apa? So, sama macam 500, nombornya 500. So, 1289, the number 1289. Very interesting concept, 1289 concept. So, 1289 concept ni basically 1, dia melambangkan 100. Okay. And then 2. Dia melambangkan 200. Okay. 8. It represents 800. 9. Represents 1000. Okay. So, how is this unique back to what we were learning, to what we were teaching selama ni? Okay, sebab apa yang saya suka, yang uh, the uniqueness in wizard lah. This is all my speciality lah. Is the concept of combination of all the topics yang kita dah belajar. Okay, so 
one two eight nine so level one two you have to buy buy okay for these two levels you can buy for level um eight and nine you have to sell so okay so now kita nak try combine or imagine the graph of 1, 2, 8, 9 ni macam mana. Buat ni cerita buy, ni cerita sell. Lepas tu kita ada TS, kita ada market structure and then we have the combination of level 500. So how does it work? Very, very funny kan? Macam mana ni kata Dan Daniel cakap macam ni, macam ni but sounds so confusing. Tak apa. I will illustrate for you. But the best way to me untuk to learn anything is via illustration. Okay, let's say ada buy turun Naik. Okay. Very, very simple explanation. Okay, let's say kita ambil this point this level 500. Okay. Right, tarik sekejap. Ini nampak cantik sekejap. This point, kita panggil sebagai area 100 ke 200. Okay, we just put a range lah. Okay, put a range here. At this point, kita panggil sebagai area Okay, at this point, kita panggil sebagai This point, atas ni sideway ni adalah level At this point Okay guys, daripada kita tengok macam ni je, does it make any sense tak? Ada masuk, ada, um, ada perasan apa-apa tak? Yang selama ni saya duduk mengajar macam mana, apa benda semua, ada yang make any sense tak? Ni kita berkait, kita just relate these two numbers only, nothing pening-pening. Oh. Okay. Macam nak join tapi dia merajuk. Apa? So guys, ada apa-apa pertanyaan tak based on this illustration saja? Kena nampak apa-apa? Hello guys, saya perlukan respon, perlukan satu response. So, 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 ada apa-apa faham ke? Hello gang, jangan berdiam-diam je. Uh, I need your answer. Hello. Apa di sini? Okay, yang yang lain the rest okay so let's say lower low to higher high okay lower to higher high kita kena buy kan dia berhenti kat 89 okay so kita stop ah ni kejap lagi saya akan explain macam mana nak tahu confirmation kat level tu dia kena akan buy as ah, nak bodoh ni aku nak explain je lagi tak eh masa okay dah Okay, tunggu,
right, right, right. Okay, guys. Okay, beginning of number by, beginning of number by, middle decision, ending sell back to beginning. Perfect. My brother, you, perfect. You are so smart. Sorry, guys, I my son. You are so, so smart. Pandai. Wow. I'm amazed. Okay, everybody. Please congrats our brother Manan for actually membukakan his own eyes and understanding this. So, yeah, saya dengar bunyi saya tengah tepuk ni eh. So, congratulations, bro. Very, very good. So, what it is basically is all about decision making based on number from the beginning to the end to the middle. Simple as that. Filter everything dengan memakaikan TS. So, let's say from here to here, you go up. Okay, the bot one you higher high. At lower high, why kita nak buy sini? Number one reason maybe we have a TS fail here or a TS buy. Simple as that. Boom, lower high kita buy, they consolidate. And kita understand maybe at... Okay. Lately, zoom, zoom dah memang gila. Okay, so maybe we understand based on visualization, maybe dekat area ni ada another formation of, of apa? TS fail. TS fail, poop, breakout, sideways, pullback, entry, decision making here. Dia dah break, so go. Simple as that. So, so far based on this illustration, can you, you guys boleh faham ke? Faham ke? So, ni je sebenarnya bagi saya trading. It's this simple je actually. Not hard pun. You tengok macam ni je. Wow, macam ni je. So, kena always remember, okay, siapa yang nak lukis, sila lukis dulu. Why saya kata penting ni untuk lukis? Sebab why? Photographic memory in your brain tu very strong. You akan ingat based on gambaran apa yang you tengok. So, better for you to draw. Kata macam muscle memory lah. Muscle memory. So, Okay, saya nak, apa ni? Confirm balik. This one, big time frame, big movement. Big time frame, big movement. 1289, small time frame, filtration time frame saya panggil. 4 hours and below is filtration time frame. So, what is, apa ni? Um, area 800, 900 ni, what is it all about? Mana eh nak cari 800, 900 ni? Eh? Well, 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 here. Here pun 500 ni pay Euro USD. Where is... Here. No. 800, 900. Here lah basically kan. Siapa, siapa, siapa. Siap. Hope for fail. Ah. mini area here so yeah this is sorry guys we using nombor ni jadi pelik sikit macam ni okay so okay this is where you have the beauty of filtering dekat ya so ma kalau macam price level bukan dalam 1289 and 500 Still boleh cari setup untuk trade ataupun kena tunggu boleh je tak ada masalah. Kan saya cakap um, 500 ni untuk time frame besar, big time frame, daily and above. But why kita nak understand big movement. Nak pakai time frame kecil 500 pun boleh. Tak ada. De, de, okay. Okay, 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 saya jawab soalan nanti ya bro. Eh. Saya nak habis dulu tak. Dia macam, dia macam uh, jadi confusing sikit. Ha. So, just want to show you. Okay, let's say. We look at here properly. The mark, this lowest weak point here. Okay. Okay. Kalau tengok sini, nak tengok sini, pening sangat nombor. So, this is why trading view very fun. You have this concept of, ni, price labeling. So, kita label price kat tepi. You can terus keluar boom. This level apa, gang? What level is this? Actually. At what level is this? Bukan 600, bro. 800, tu. 800. Okay. So, kita marking lah area. Kita ambil mana area yang boleh ranging sini. Sampailah ke permulaan 800 which is yeah. Okay. So, what I want to explain kat sini. Kau ni kat 4 jam. Okay. Kita tengok sini ya. Eh. 
ni area 89 betul tak setuju tak saya okey this is area 89 price dah make one new lower low eh kita just consider as lower low mana 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 mana, mana. where is the alphabetical okey let's say kita ambil sini as um okay, high low 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 kita dah miss out on the trade okey Cara nak filter based on smaller time frame, what you have to do is you have to filter down untuk 89 to get the best precise entry untuk smaller time frame bagi saya lah. So high low formation on area 89. Okay, you get you still be confused macam mana nak dapat this area. So maybe you can go to one hour. You boleh filter in the process with timing sequence as well. TS, ada tak TS fail or anything related to it ke apa-apa. Okay. Okay, sini tak ada. Okay, let's say you go to 15 minute. Fifteen minute. Okay, 15 minute. Apa yang kita nampak dekat ni kecil ni? Area 800, 900 zone ni. Ha, dia masuk sikit. Sini ngam-ngam je. Dia masuk test, 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 apa ni? Area 800 ni. So, what is it? Buy sell buy buy TS buy fail filtration area 800 you can sell so the concept is sebenarnya on smaller time frame ni what you have to do is kalau you nak cari uh, area 800 you want to sell there are the two component that you have to wait number one being you have to wait for TS yang TSL consider you are the TSL here contoh lah TSL here um, the direction sideways pullback entry that's number one. Number two, area 800, 900, you can wait for formation of TS by fail. So, below all these components make either TS fail or TS yang betul, at area 89, you can sell. At area 12 pula, konsep ni pun sama sahaja. Okay. Kita nampak tak sekarang ni, price dekat, dekat area mana sebenarnya ni? Yang, dia, yang tempat yang dia reject balik tu. Mana 100, 200, 100, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, okay, plus minus area lah. Okay. Kita nampak tak di mana price akan make the movement of let's say here ke 100, 100. Yeah guys, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay guys, um, semua okay ke dengan ni so far? Sekejap, sekejap. Korang boleh nampak screen ke? Ke tak nampak screen ni? Dia macam tak ada warna hijau tu dah. Okay, nampak-nampak. Ah. So, faham ke so far? Yang part ni, nampak tak? Ni dekat area 100, 200. Mana yang tanda ke? Price, 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 price. Okay, 100, 200. Eh, silap. Jap, jap, jap. Da, 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 da. Price label ni. Okay. So nampak tak? Semua orang understand ke so far? 1, 2, 8, 9. 100, 200 area by 800, 900 area kita kena sell. It is as simple as that. Actually, yeah, yeah. Tengok, ada tak history apa-apa price ni? Okay. Uh, 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 sini, sini. Ada? Historical adalah buy sell buy buy. So ada macam area of buyer lah. Itu saya akan masuk lagi nanti. But so far yes. Area TS buy area. Okay. Setakat ini sahaja semua okay ke? Okay atau tak okay? So far setakat macam ni okay ke? Just want to know. 
Okay eh, okay eh. So I just filtered out semalam. Semalam yang kita belajar level 500 untuk big time frame atau big scale sahaja. Okay. Untuk small time frame ni, 4 hour ke bawah kita guna konsep 1, 2, 8, 9. Contohnya, 100, 200 buy. Pup, 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 turun 100, 200 buy. Ha. So macam tu je konsep dia. Dia actually very simple and very easy. Lepas tu kalau sini pula, kenapa price duduk asyik turun, turun, turun macam ni. Kita just take a prime example sahaja eh. Okay, so baru nampak macam mana nak go ke smallest time frame. Yes. Okay, sekejap eh. Saya remove semua drawing ni. So, let's say kita ada. Ni. Nampak tak? Ni formation TSL dekat time frame dekat zone apa? Ada tak 800, 900 ni? 800 tu kan? So, kita understand. Pup tembus fail. Pup patah balik. So, kita boleh reuse this area untuk sell balik. Ni untuk time frame kecil. Itulah cara-cara yang you nak filterkan, you nak filterkan, okay. Ha, filterkan, ni pun kalau tengok kat small time frame, level 500. So, level 500 ni kebiasaannya big movement macam sideway yang lama. Ha, formationnya on level, uh, apa ni? 500, that one. So, let's say nak cari 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay, nampak tak sini? Price reject dekat level apa tu? What level is that? 800 kan? Sini pula ada apa? Kita nak cari pula sini ada apa? Sini, sini, sini. Sini ada apa pula tu? Mesti ada answer kan. Uh, 800. Uh, but however, ialah sebab kita time frame sini. Here somewhat dekat M5 ke apa ke mesti ada formation of TS fail or something like that. Uh, so we can get this specific or precise movement entry. Okay, let's say sini pula. Ni level apa yang price pergi ni? 200 tak? 200 kan? Okay. Jawapan dia sangat-sangat simple saja. 200. Okay. Jawapan dia very simple. Eh? Ini kita kena tu kata. Trading ni rajinkan zoom in. Rajinkan zoom in. Kalau bila you pakai MT4 ni you nak zoom in jadi payah. Sini kita zoom in nak nampak sebatang pun tak apa. <laughs> so, nampak tak? Buy, sell, buy, buy. Kan? Area TS buy. Okay, TS buy. Okay, TS buy. Okay, ni tak ada sideway. Ini fail. Fail. Patah balik, entry. This is TS type 3. Sebab TS kan saya dah cerita, ada normal case tu yang dia boleh pop, patah balik, entry. Second one tu dia boleh fail, patah balik, entry. Ini dia fail, fail, patah balik, baru entry. So, this is TS yang type 3. Okay, jenis TS. So, nampak tak cara kita nak filter tu? Macam mana? Okay, that is one case. Another case pula. Another one Let's see Ada shadow sini je eh. Mana dia ada 100, 200, 8, 9 pa, 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 pa. Okay Kat sini, formation TS buy dekat level apa ni? Nampak, mana turun sikit lagi. Hmm. Satu, dua ratus ni kan? Dua ratus, satu, seven, five something. Mana semua, semua formation TS buy tu. Ha. So, you filter on smaller time frame untuk dapat your entry point. Buy sell, bye bye. Zoop, area 100, 200. Boleh lah. Dipersilakan untuk kita berbuy. Okay, macam sini pula. Um, buy sell, bye bye. Breakout, maybe smaller time frame. Maybe M1, saya kata sebab ni M15 ke M1 ada side wave, pullback. Confirmation at this area. Ni level apa? 100, 200. Buy. Um, and then let's say this area here. Okay, this one reject 500. Nampak tak kita understand? Okay, nampak tak? Small movement pakai 1, 2. Big movement pakai 500. Rejection 500. 500 kat sini. Dia reject sampai 500. 
boom dia pergi you nak filter balik at this point uh, mana 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 500 900 1 2 okey uh, say to scale down 0.5 Mana ya tadi? Sini ya? Saya pun Siapa ni? Adam sahaja. Hai Adam sahaja. Okay. This one. 500 rejection. Ramai je nak jual ni. Ramai je nak jual ni. Okay. 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 So let's take here example. pun nak ambil sini pun okey uh, better here ok nampak tak on smaller time frame ok ni cara yang saya nak bagi filtration eh kadang-kadang kalau kita nak tengok kat time frame yang kecil ok this one ada TS tapi dia turun sampai area dia 800, 900 kan nampak 98 Sini pun ada timing sequence. When you look at these two charts, you can get very confused to the point that kalau you tak pakai algorithm atau 1 to 8 concept. You look at the chart, you macam, oh, kat mana satu eh nak entry? Dua-dua ni betul. Dua-dua ni betul. Ha. Lagi-lagi tengok sini. Oh, sini pun macam betul juga kan? Tapi, bila you tengok based on TS punya concept saja. However, when you filter with timing with uh, 1 to 8, 9 level, you faham. Ni level 1, 2 ke? Tak. Atau level 500? Tak. This one? Satu dua ke atau lima ratus? Tak. This one? Five hundred? No. But one two? Yes. Yes. Hence, kita filter here. Bu -bu 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 -bu. By area itself here. You have your by area. Aha. So, okay. apa yang saya predict? First leg, second leg. Nah. Siapa yang masuk master class akan tahulah apa yang saya masukkan dengan first leg, second leg ni. Okay. Boom. Sini, sini. Sini, sini, sini. Okay, dia berhenti, dia reject area 800-900 kan ni. Ini sideway sideway ni. Yeah, so confluence it make sense kan? Aha. Okay, so far semua okay ke? Ke ada yang, ke ada yang confused lagi? Okay? Kita tengok mana price pergi pun di retest balik. Nampak tak? Area of retesting. Nampak tak? Ada nampak ke? Eh, kalau pakai basic SNR, breakout retest. Ah, nak AV apa benda macam tu lah. Terpulang lah masing-masing. But so far everyone okay ke? It's not long this topic. Cuma dia adalah proses uh, mana nak filter small time frame ni. Contoh, you nampak ada dalam that, uh, that uh, kalau ada banyak TS tu, satu dua, ambil area satu dua lagi kan? Yes. Kalau ada banyak TS buy, kita filter on level 500 tu nombor satu. 500 atau satu dua. Selain daripada tu, you can ignore. So now sekarang, you can look at your chart and you dah boleh tahu. Okay, this TS tak boleh guna, this TS boleh guna. Ah Macam tu sahaja. Simple as that. Okay. Kalau TSL pula, you tengok dekat area 800, 9, dah apa ni, 89 punya area atau 500. Kalau bukan area tu, you boleh abaikan. Tetapi, that is scenario nombor satu. Okay. That is number one. Kalau number two, dia punya scenario dia dalam konsep TS fail ni kadang-kadang, not based on chart, based on pure logic eh. Kita nak ceritakan area TS by fail. Okay, area TS by fail ni, Maksudnya TS by fail situlah kita boleh sell kan. Mungkin area TS by fail ni dia buat dekat 89. 89 dia fail, breakout, sideways, retest, sell kat 89. Aha. Faham tak? Semua? Okay. Tu TS by fail so kita boleh sell. So kalau TS sell fail mungkin dia formation dekat area 100-200. Dia fail kat sana, uh, structural high, sideways, pullback kita entry. Ha, macam tu je. Ha, memang kena kreatif but 
Konsep ni still sama, still simple. Cuma ni adalah proses kita nak filtering di manakah TS yang betul. Kalau you nampak TS kat 300, 400, 600, 700, abaikan those area. Those are not, bagi saya bukan area yang ada quality. Basically TS we can enter kalau tak ada in the in those range of numbers. Uh, we can enter but kalau ada dan very high probability kan. Yes. TS kalau tak ada dalam range tu you boleh enter. But you kena understand. You jawab sendiri high probability dengan kalau bukan area tu low probability. So kita carilah area yang high probability dan low. Sebab kenapa? Bila dia high probability entry, meaning dia quality set up. So bila quality set up, the probability untuk you make profit is very high as compared to low probability area. You nak profit, very low lah. Tapi dia high probability untuk you make losses. So stick to what is quality and avoid yang non-quality. Okay, 1289 better untuk time frame kecil atau besar pun boleh. Time frame kecil sahaja. Filtration, 4 jam dan ke bawah. Nak nampak tak macam apa saya buat tadi? Siapa yang masuk awal lah. Ha? Siapa yang masuk awal tu nampak saya buat 1289 filter, filter. Nampak sini ada area ni punya banyak TS tapi kenapa dia respect TS ini? Okay, siapa berjawab saya? Kenapa price ambil TS sini, bukan sini, bukan sini. Yang bukan sini. Ha, kenapa price respect TS ni? Sebab satu dua, betul. Ha. Itu sahaja. Sebab ni kita nak pakai time frame kecil. M5. Kadang-kadang bila kita tengok M5, formation. Saya banyak dapat text. Banyak PM. So macam mana ni? Saya banyak sangat tengok TS ni. Saya kata tak apa tu. Fu, flu. So kata kelas ni penting. So dah terjawab ke soalan untuk smaller time frame hari ni? Geng-geng, rakan-rakan sekitar sekalian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Simple je sebenarnya. Okay, so jika TS buy area 89, in future dia break. TS tu strong lah kalau nak sell. Betul. Saya explain tadi. Kalau area 89 ada TS buy, dekat sana kita boleh stand by untuk area TS buy fail. So kita boleh counter untuk sell. Ha, this sama je konsep tapi di, kita reverse engineer, kita kreatif sikit daripada segi, daripada segi situ. Ha, tak apa, tak apa, tak apa. Kalau let's say lah, kalau TS sell, fail dekat area 1-2, kita boleh counter dia sebagai buy. So, dia jadi macam valid, validation untuk kita entry. So, macam tu je lah. Actually, my courses dia, dia, dia tak complicated. Dia memang tak pening. Kalau korang perasan pun, very straight to the point. Very, very straight to the point. Sebab saya tak, um, saya tak nak waste a lot of time dengan mengajar sebab apa ni mengajar dengan sebab nak, nak nampak saya mengajar banyak ha. Ha. so saya ni ni kita buat kelas banyak-banyak tu kita kena revise ha. revision sebab just more on latihan mata latihan dia exercise brain exercise lah ha. the shorter the simpler lagi quality your understanding of trading is ha. macam tu je so so far gang okay ke Ha, inilah kelas yang terakhir ataupun topik yang terakhir untuk uh, 1289. Ha. Sebab selama ni, jujur dengan saya, pening tak bila tengok kat lower time frame banyak TS? Pening sangat. <laughs> Tuh, duit tak lagi. Apa punya DJ ni. So, hari ni terjawab ke soalan mana, mana nak entry? <laughs> Ha. Tapi itulah kadang-kadang bila tengok saya buat Nampak macam simple sangat Macam mana dia boleh, boleh buat macam ni kan Bisa buat, eh simple je lah ha. Tapi at the end of the day Saya dah filter, saya tengok mata kat tepi Saya tengok oh 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 Lepas tu saya dah bergerak laju Saya tengok nombor, nombor, nombor Kalau ada TS buy 1, 2 And TS sell fail TS sell fail 1, 2 Jangan nak ambil yang mana Sekejap uh, kalau ada TS buy 1-2 and TS sell fill area 1-2 So valid lah TS sell fill kita boleh guna sebagai TS Boleh guna untuk entry buy plus ada TS buy Double confirmation lagi kuatkan area for entry Betul tak? Siapa yang setuju dengan saya? Untuk persoalan sahabat rakan kita Wan Nakib Adakah anda setuju betul tak? 
But dia dah TSL, fear 1, 2 Lepas tu dia TS buy lagi Double confirmation Ah, Memang FM sana Sekejap eh, saya nak, saya nak, ni, nak tengok soalan dia TS fail Dia atas TS buy dia bawah Saya dah jawab dah soalan bro tadi so, Kalau ada TS buy 1, 2 And pull back level 500 Boleh full margin ke situ Just nak recap Bagi saya persoalan full margin ni Kena tunggu set up big time frame Mana ada orang full margin di setup small time frame Kebiasaannya saya nak full margin saya akan tunggu setup 500 on daily 500 on one week ha, Baru strong Small time frame ni dia punya result dia very risky Small time frame ni untuk kita react kepada current situasi market Biarlah Bagi contoh saya bagi ya eh. Kalau kita memang tak tahu pun apa benda semua ni kan Memang kita blur lah saya tengok chat apa benda lah mamat tengok cerita Tapi kita tak pernah belajar yang langsung. Kita pun anggap dah macam ni. Aha, SNR ni. Eh, hey, kita enter pun pasang lah PO sini. Ush, ha ni sini kita boleh entry tu. Padahal you filter pakai TS, satu dah faham, tak ada TS fail, tak ada pun TS. Nombor 2 sat TS juga tadi. Nombornya dekat mana? 800 sini kena sell dia break. Saya satu dua untuk buy. Aha, macam tu je. Bagi saya, smaller time frame ni very risky lah Better you guys focus on big time frame Kalau saya buat pun, kalau korang nak perasan Kita tengok confirmation of um, Apa ni, 4 jam 1 day Okay, 12 jam juga Sometimes Kalau melainkan eh, melainkan Kalau macam contoh ni, saya nampak macam ni Saya bagi, bagi contoh lah, bukan saya nak galakkan Saya bagi contoh lah, saya sini eh. Dia duduk stuck dekat 1, 2 ni dah lama sangat Geram betul lah, satu, dua, tiga, tiga kali dah try ha, Kali keempat tu, saya biasanya saya akan FM ha, Biasaan lah saya lah Boleh je macam ni, tapi this one memerlukan keberanian lah Keberanian tu saya tak sure I mean, Kalau you guys berani, then go ahead Nothing wrong with it Nothing wrong, betul-betul tak ada masalah pun okay. ha, So guys, macam tu je lah for today, nothing much uh, Jadi saya nak ucapkan tahniah lah for you guys that attended um, From Tuesday until today so harap um, you guys understand lah So just nak tanya sikit eh Siapa sini lebih faham daripada permulaan Isnin? Daripada Isnin sampai hari ni siapa rasa that they gain something new and dia rasa um, Ada ilmu di dada lah basically ha? Rasa rasa kerana dia bukan ting kosong lagi lah Rasanya dia dah ada pengisian diri Okay Tahniah, tahniah Okay, congratulations lah to you guys Okay, congratulations But you have to understand eh Something new session <laughs> Thank you <laughs> Tak apa, so slow, so slow Okay, so don't worry uh, Today punya last topic doesn't mean saya akan berhenti No Saya punya last topic ni Sebenarnya last topic ni saya dah habis lah Untuk Monday to Friday So um, After this eh Saya akan keluarkan one um, schedule Kiranya on a monthly basis, every week Every week saya nak keluar topik per topik So saya akan forward to the group, saya akan buat wizard monthly calendar Okay, hari ni topik ni, hari ni topik ni So everyone can at least prepare lah Okay tak cadangan saya tu? I, I think I should put it away Daripada ni saya duduk posting dekat dalam, saya tulis je Saya just bagi gambar uh, So at least you guys can print out ke, boleh save dalam phone I think it's better So um, moving on, um, sebab next week saya nak fokus on masterclass punya Nak habiskan macam apa kita buat After that, after that kiranya pertengahan bulan dah Pertengahan bulan kita akan restart balik We can restart balik from chapter 1 dekat minggu tu So every week new chapter, new chapter new... So basically the concept is every week is a refreshment of chapter per chapter per chapter uh, So don't worry ya eh. So rasa if this week, uh, rasa if you don't understand this part Okay, you boleh attend for this class This class is refreshment for this class Refreshment in the sense saya akan buat, uh, saya akan run through From A to Z, application on live market If ada setup, we can entry As of now, market tak gerak at all langsung As you can see Macam saya cakap semalam, so due to Easter pun benda semua So better we just avoid trading je lah uh, so, Sampai hari Tuesday lah better Ah, sama-sama bro. I, I I want to make sure you guys understand. 
Saya bukan bagi duration macam belajar sebulan, dua bulan. No, no, no. I mean, it's not nice lah bagi saya. It's my my responsibility. That I, I have to give my all out, my very best lah. My very best. So at least sekarang ni, you guys dah dapat gambaran yang oh macam ni, macam ni, macam ni. So after this, baru kita akan go through one by one, back again, kita asahkan pula. Now kita dah ada idea, kita ada, kiranya macam kita dah ada batang pensel tu. Dan sebelum sebelum ni tak ada duit nak, nak beli batang pensel. Now dah ada batang pensel. So kita nak kena asahkan biar keluar dia punya lead tu pula. Baru kita boleh tulis. Uh, that is when you start writing your art. Writing your art is meaning perfecting your trading, making money out of trading. So now you have the pencil. Okay, dah ada dah, dah ada pencil, you dah ada the canvas untuk you lukis the art. No? So now, kita asahkan the pencil after this, then you start drawing your masterpiece. In reality, in dalam dunia trading, what I mean by masterpiece is you start creating your portfolio of trading. Deposit this much, grow this much, withdraw macam ni. Ah, so that is the next stage. Okay. Eh, hey, thank you, thank you. Ah, so this is the next stage. Kita dah go through phase one. Phase one ni tahap understanding. So phase two ni kita nak sharpen the knowledge, sharpen, 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 sharpen. Okay, make sure benda ni jadi second nature. Tengok oh satu dua, okay standby. Oh bukan satu dua, okay tidur dulu. Okay, dekat daily 500, okay. Filtration 500, swing trade. Ah, uh, Saya dah hint tu sikit. Nak swing trade dia 500. Nak swing trade level 500. Ada TS 500, time frame besar, swing trade. Macam tu je lah. So, bagi saya, I will see you on Sunday. Eh. Saya akan hantar, I will forward to the group um, invitation. So, it will be very unique. The Sunday, kita takkan pakai Zoom. Saya akan buat mini conference online hall Di mana ada Dia macam ada banyak meja bulat Meja bulat, meja bulat, meja bulat, meja bulat So korang boleh klik dekat mana-mana meja tu And just join the conference And then you can chat siapa-siapa kat meja I hope you can share with the group also So it's a little message from me lah Nak ucapkan terima kasih dan tahniah Kepada yang complete untuk this week So thank you guys lah eh. I just stop recording lah So okay, saya just nak tanya balik 